Hi everyone, so today I filmed this get ready with me look on this makeup here today. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Thanks. So I'm going to start off just priming my eyelids using my Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm going to start out carving the shape of my eyebrow and then work my way downwards. Now I'm grabbing a Real Techniques concealer brush and I'm just buffing that all over my eyelid. I'm going to set my eyelids using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32, I'm going to go into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, uh, Ring the Alarm, and I'm going to go in with the shade Rush. I'm going to use this color as my transition shade and I'm going to put it all over my crease. Now going in with my ColourPop Paradox with the Jaclyn Hill JH34, I'm going to start to put that on my crease as well. Now picking up the JH33, I'm going to go in with my Modern Renaissance palette and pick up the color Red Ochre and blend that into my crease as well. And I am going to go back in with my color pop and blend that in with Red Ochre as well. I'm going to keep adding to it and blending it out until I get my desired darkness. Grabbing a really small concealer brush, I'm going to get my Shape Tape Concealer and start to carve out my crease.
Now grabbing the Bling Blast palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Sparks, and I'm going to add that to the inner and outer corners of my eyes to darken them up. Going back in with my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to grab Red Ochre again and I'm going to add that to my crease in the shape of a V. I'm going to grab the shade Bling Bling from the Bling Boss palette and I'm going to wet it and add that to the rest of my eyelid. I'm going to go in with pizzazz and I'm going to use that shade to blend in the bling bling shimmer shade and the red ochre. Here I'm just going in with a big blending brush just to make sure that everything is well blended. To start off with my face, I'm going to go in with my moisturizer and put this all over my face. I'm going to mix this foundation with my Maybelline foundation to get the perfect color and I'm going to blend this out on the back of my hand and then mix it with my fingers and dab it on my face. Again, using my Shape Tape Concealer, I'm going to put this under my eyes and on top of my lips and on my chin and I'm going to blend this out using a Morphe sponge. I'm going to bake the bottom of my eyes using this translucent powder and the other side of my damp beauty sponge.
Back into the Ring of the Alarm palette, I'm going to pick up Rush and put this on my lower lash line. So I'm going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette and pick up Red Ochre and also put that in my lower lash line. Using the L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner, I'm going to put this on my waterline. Grabbing a small brush, I'm going to grab the shade Mystic from the Bling Boss palette and I'm going to smoke out my waterline. For bronzer, I'm going to mix the last, the bottom three shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just going to bronze up my face. And just as a heads up, I do apologize for the next series of clips of videos. My camera did die and unfortunately I had to record the rest of the videos on my iPad. Because of this, I did do my eyeliner and eyebrows offline. I used the ColourPop highlighter on our Morphe sponge to highlight my face and my nose. I did also use it to highlight my brow bone. For the inner corner highlight, I used the shade VIP from the Armed and Gorgeous palette from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. For lip liner, I'm using a brown NYX lip liner, topping off with a NYX lipstick. I also added NYX Butter Gloss. So my camera died towards the end of the video, which is why I started recording on my iPad. But I want to give you guys a thanks to everyone who watched this video. And if you want to continue to watch my videos, then like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.